anything about me knows that I am not going to decorate for Halloween using traditional colors. So I've got some really fun ideas here for decorating pumpkins, starting with this one right here. These are all made using fake pumpkins that you can pick up at a craft store. And for this one, we just tucked a succulent inside. And to make that opening in the top, a really handy tool is this hot knife right here. It just slides right through the plastic really easily. This one here is a more dramatic look with the flowers on the front of a black pumpkin. The cool thing about this is it already came painted black and you can pick up pumpkins in a bunch of different colors now. Glue the flowers on and you're done. If you want an ice cream that you're not gonna cry over spilling, this is a cute idea. Paint your pumpkin to look like mint chocolate chip ice cream or any of your other favorite flavors. Add a cone at the top using scrapbook paper and then paint some Bristol board at the bottom to look like the spilled ice cream. I love this idea. You can take your pumpkin and actually turn it into a strawberry. You just give it a red cone of paint, add these seed details, and then using felt, make the leaf for the top. These ones are a lot of fun. There's a few steps involved and we're gonna get right to it. I'm just adding these watercolor paints to a protective surface on my table. And then all you need to do to make this pumpkin is dip your paintbrush in water and then add some of the first color of paint. And you see it's starting off really red, but as you continue to add water, the color will run down the pumpkin and become less saturated. Now I'm gonna add the second color. There's no need to change your water because you actually want the colors to mix in and blend. So you do exactly the same thing as you're going around the pumpkin. You add a lot of water to the paint and allow it to run down the sides. You might wanna leave some spaces blank so that the bottom color shows through. When you're happy with the way it looks, set it aside to dry for a couple of hours. If you want, you can paint the stem white and you'll end up with a pumpkin that looks just like this. A fun way to add some pattern to your pumpkins is by using decoupage. I've got two already done here in different but coordinating patterns and we're gonna make the third one to go with the set. All you need is some Mod Podge, which is essentially a craft glue, and some pretty scrapbook paper. You could use wallpaper, you could use fabric. A nice heavy scrap paper though is probably the easiest to work with. Take your Mod Podge and with a brush, apply it generously on your pumpkin. You want to work with just small areas because Mod Podge dries really fast. Take your little pieces of paper and as you set them on the Mod Podge, you also want to give them a coat. It's going to look milky, but it will dry clear. So as you go, you want to layer your papers over top the previous one, cover it with Mod Podge. It's a little bit messy, but it's going to be worth it. 